Hi there. Thanks for taking the time to check out Positive Community Stories, featuring individuals and organizations bringing solutions to the broader community during COVID-19 and beyond. Hi, my name is Miriam Altman. I'm co-founder and CEO of Kinvolved. Kinvolved is a mission-driven organization that helps school systems nationwide elevate family and student engagement in service of improving student attendance and other academic outcomes. Uh, we started Kinvolved about eight years ago now, which is hard to believe, uh, as students at the NYU Wagner School of Public Service. Um, prior to co-founding Kinvolved, I was a teacher in the New York City public school system. I taught high school students and um, you know, really saw from the front lines the challenges that students and their families and schools have with student absenteeism. And uh, we started the company by uh, entering into and winning a policy competition on behalf of the Wagner School uh, at UPenn in 2012. And that got us our first $15,000 to kind of get started. Yeah, so I'll let Alex tell a little bit more about her backstory, but that's my kind of pre-convolved and then into convolves uh, beginning. Uh, sure, my name is Alex Meese. I'm the chief product officer at Convolved and the other co-founder. Um, prior to Convolved, I... Um, working with parents of children with autism and special needs. And, and from that, I really learned around um, inequities that our families are facing in terms of access to information, um, legal services, educational services, and so forth to really um, ensure that their child could access equitable education. Um, and similarly, I would text families. Um, our family spoke uh, primarily languages other than English, so there was a pretty huge language gap. And I really wish I had a tool that would help me better communicate with parents in a, a more meaningful, effective way. We provide primarily a technology solution called Kinvo, um, which is a mobile tablet and web application that schools can use. And when I say schools, I mean everyone from educators in the classroom to uh, in virtual classroom now to guidance counselors. Um, school principals and district level leadership as well. Um, so really it's a, it's a product that every stakeholder on a school or district's end can use to communicate with students and families, as well as to really manage and measure student attendance efforts. With our theory of change being, if you engage students and families mostly in a positive way and build those relationships, um, that is how we see attendance improve. Um, and so our product has been, you know, out in the market for several years. Um, we work with about 10% of all New York City public schools, um, a couple of charter networks, and then districts, small, medium, and large across the country in 10 different states. Um, we also provide very robust consulting and professional learning services to school systems because we never believe that just giving people a product as beautiful and wonderful and easy as it might be to use is going to actually kind of drive the type of impact that we've seen in normal times, much less times of crisis that we're seeing right now. Um, and so what we've seen uh, that is, I think, different now uh, during COVID than prior to COVID is uh, an increased urgency, of course, for communicating with families. So the first couple of weeks, uh, Alex and her team were seeing you know, significant increases in, uh, in inbound requests from our current users to, you know, for everything from how do I send a message, how do I log in, to, you know, how do I measure uh, the effectiveness of our parent contact information, accuracy of parent contact information in our existing system. For example, how do I send a, a link to a PDF um, with, you know, information about the district's uh, requirements and policies, um, official bulletins to, you know, exchanging homework uh, assignments as well without students and families having to require, you know, being required to have access to either a computer at home or to a, uh, uh, an internet service, essentially. Um, and so that's been incredibly critical. We've seen the messages per student increase by about 200% among our existing users, and then also an inbound uh, volume of new school systems that are looking for solutions like ours to help them with their parent and student outreach and communications during this remote learning time. Um, and a couple of things that we're also working on, uh, cause the world is constantly changing, uh, is developing some, uh, robust professional learning sort of virtual services for school systems on how to effectively communicate with students and families, um, during this time. And, and I think 
Alex can probably lend some more specific color into that because this is really her, uh, her area of expertise. As we all know, we have shift, shifted from uh, teaching, you know, within the four walls of a classroom to a uh, digital learning environment. Um, a thread of continuity that we've um, observed and have quickly responded to is providing really tactical, easy to follow training materials and guides for teachers on how to continue that thread of, uh, you know, compassion and empathy with our families. How do we scale that empathy quotient and how do we train educators and remind folks to touch base and check in with families, not just about attendance behavior and course performance, but, um, you know, how you're feeling at home and is there anything we can do as a school or a district to support you with access to resources um, just having that conversation with parents via text and video call is new um, and not always comfortable um, and uh, definitely sometimes a little scary. Um, and, you know, seeing one another's homes and that kind of thing for the first time. So we have reacted and we have um, a really uh, great uh, digital guide to home visits, which is a practice that educators have been doing for the past, you know, several decades of having that one-on-one uh, -on -one relationship in a home but having that via video call or via text even um, of just checking in and asking those basic questions of how can I help and, and what can we do to support you. Um, additionally, a common thread that we have found is that something that we've all known as educators and district leaders and superintendents and you know, from Miriam and my um, personal experience is that there is that equity gap um, that has always existed. However, it's been put under a magnifying glass as now everyone has been displaced from their school or district. So with Kinvo, um, you know, we have always known that, you know, X percent of parents do not have a phone number uh, in Kinvo that is functional. Um, but now we absolutely critically need to get in touch with these parents. So how can we do that as um, a company? How can we support districts with more quickly identifying who those families are? and providing tools to crowdsource that information across the district. Uh, so that is what we're currently working on and building capacity to ensure that every single family in all of our districts across the country, um, and we service now about 11 states nationally, um, have you know a, at least one point of contact from the home to the school. What are some stories or feedback that you've gotten from teachers, administration, students that get you excited to keep to keep pushing on this? What are some of the victories that you've seen here? Yeah, we've, I mean, we've seen so many different ways that people are creatively using the software um, and, you know, where we've been able to, to provide support. Uh, we, we created this sort of one or two page document that outlines nine different ways that people are using the software right now to help solve really pressing issues. So we have a district in Georgia that exemplifies this example um, that was able to communicate with their students and families using the Kinvo software about the, you know, protocol for and the new policy for picking up or distributing lunch um, and breakfast. And uh, they were able to distribute almost 10,000 meals in that first day, um, which is really exciting, especially for a district like them, because they're only about 5,000 students. So that means that they reached a huge population of their students and families. That's pretty incredible. Um, are there any ways in which people uh, viewing can potentially help you in your organization? Sure. Uh, thank you for asking. So uh, we are we have the capacity to help additional school systems that may not already work with us, whether it's accessing the software um, or providing coaching and training to their districts around um, how to engage families, regardless of what tools you're using during this COVID crisis. Those are two services that we're offering. Um, and we are offering the uh, training component uh, pro bono for a, a portion of time for any district that's interested. Um, and we're also about to launch a new service where we help data, help districts with one of those challenges that Alex mentioned, which is to just do the the sort of roll up your sleeves work of assessing accuracy of parent contact data and helping them clean it out. That's one particular area. Um, and then the other thing is to help um, support these pro bono services that we are offering. Uh, we are looking for supplementary funding sources as well. We're so excited to help share the story of Kinvolved um, and how it's helping the community during this difficult time. Thank you both so much for your time today um, and for sharing all this information with us. Thank you too.
Appreciate the opportunity.